What's good, guys? Fantasy Joe back here with our fantasy football profile. Today, I am talking about Jameer Gibbs for the Detroit Lions. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I post a ton of these fantasy football profiles, a ton of other content as well, rankings, league winners, busts, values, everything you need to bring home that championship. I have some really good videos coming out this week. I've got my values series is already out on my round three slash four values. Uh, another team is another video is coming out. Make sure you target this team. Their players are being underdrafted compared to how good their offense is. That's already out, so check both those videos out. If you want to beat your friends and family in fantasy football, basically hit that subscribe button. And please hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section down below. It really helps out. Alrighty, let's talk to Jameer Gibbs. So this last year, he finishes the RB10, the RB8 in points per game. As a rookie, something to consider. As you can see the stats, in 15 games, he put up 182 carries, 945 rushing yards, 10 touchdowns on the ground. Average 5.2 per carry, which is a great number. In the receiving game, he had 52 catches on 71 targets for 316 yards. 6.1 yards for reception, and that number, I believe, we should see come up as he gets a little bit more comfortable in the passing game. But let's just talk about his season last year. So he averaged 14 touches when Montgomery returned from injury. He had the bigger role. He had about 40% of the carries on the team compared to Montgomery's 49%, which is a really good ratio. But he had a 12.3% target share, which is a great number for a running back. That's how you see that 71 targets. And like I was saying, I think that he is going to improve in that area. He's a natural pass catcher. They are going to utilize him more down the field, they've said as well. So that, I, that's another reason why I think that yards per reception will go up. Obviously, you might, you know, the connection rate might be a little bit lower, but I expect him to be well over seven yards per reception just with the type of player he is. And he could be well over that. But just I think he is going to improve in that area regardless almost. Now, the Lions have a great offensive line, one of the best in the league. They get him to the second level, and he's an extremely explosive player. Let's take a look at his numbers here. So 4.36 in the 40-yard dash as a running back. Absolutely incredible. Uh, and then taking a look back here, like I said, I think he has a lot of room to grow in the passing game, which I think he'll have. I think he's still going to score a lot of touchdowns. Obviously, the numbers are a little high compared to the amount of touches he had, but I still think he's going to score a lot just because of how good this Detroit Lions offense is with their offensive coordinator, Ben Johnson, in combination with this offensive line. And like I said, once you get those uh, more explosive plays in the passing game, it's really going to help out those numbers regardless. Another stat I want to throw out there, he ranked 14th in carries inside the 10. That's another reason why I think that those goal line carries can continue to go he also had eight carries or less than three of the first four games to start the season so i think he will be a little bit more involved this year i've been projected for 215 carries 1100 rushing yards 10 rushing touchdowns 65 catches 481 receiving yards and four receiving touchdowns he is my rb4 in my rankings he is well worthy well worth a first round draft pick in my eyes and i have no problem taking him accordingly i would take him as high as eight or nine uh, and be very comfortable with it to me he's extremely talented he's like a mixture of a jamal charles and an alvin kamara and the way he's going to be utilized this year and moving forward i just am all bought in and it's not that David Montgomery is not going to be utilized in this offense. It's just when you have a guy who can be as efficient as he can on offense this good, they're going to put him in positions to do damage. I believe in all of that. And if something does happen to David Montgomery, you've got the next league winner on your roster. All right, if you made it to this point in the video, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section down below. Stay tuned for more of these fantasy football profiles and just all the content that comes out on the channel. This is Fancy Joe. I'll see you guys.